Hey guys, uh, John Keel here with my good friend Brad what from the, the Budding Watch Enthusiast. We are here in Washington, D.C. for district time. So I'm here yep. displaying with Watch Gauge. Yeah, you've been, you've been too busy trying to make money right. all day. How dare you? So. <laughs> so we're actually doing this backwards. Yes. You took uh, Harrison. I did. Got to check out five watches, five brands that uh, caught my eye as we were walking around here. So did some quick interviews uh, with those brand owners to talk about some of the new releases that they brought to District Time with them this year. Yeah, so we're doing the intro after he already did this mm -hmm. stuff. So why don't we cut to that stuff and uh, check out who Brad talked to, what he saw, and uh, appreciate you watching along, guys. Yep. So guys, we are here with Notice Wes here. You guys just released the Duality on Instagram. It's up for pre-order yep. right now. Yep. Talk about why you guys thought that a, a dual crown, like internal bezel diver was the next watch you guys wanted to go with for your flagship line. Sure, so uh, when we looked at the market, there wasn't that much out there in terms of options for dual crown divers. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the complaints were the same. Uh, you know, like we went out into the world, uh, world and just asked people, like what do they want in a dual crown diver? Um, of the dual crown divers out there, what do they not like about, like why don't they own one? Mm -hmm. We sort of like took all that data and just, you know, made it our own. Um, the other thing is that it's also a pretty tough mechanism to do. So we wanted mm -hmm. to just really, like with the Avalon, right? we want to show our manufacturing capabilities. So um, an internal bezel is not, like it's easy to do, but it's hard to do it well. So mm -hmm. we wanted to show people that we can, you know, we're, we're here for, for forever. We want to cool. push the innovation in manufacturing and, and all that for independent brands. Cool. And, and it's, like I said, it still very much screams notice. Like I said, it's very cool with the sandwich dial, but the yeah. applied markers as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like I so said, what I've seen of it looks really awesome so far. Yeah. And 600 right now until November 1st? Yeah, yeah, and then it goes up to uh, 700 retail. Cool, very cool. Like I said, it looks awesome. Happy, you. To see, happy you guys came out. Thank you, thank you. Cool. So, so we are here uh, with Zach from Arter and Forge. Zach, I had never heard of your brand before I came today. Was told I had to check it out, and actually really impressed with this new uh, Rothrock line that you have here that you're debuting pretty soon, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you probably never heard of me because I don't officially exist <laughs> yet. Uh, November 19th is the launch day for pre-orders. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so the Rothrock is inspired by Rothrock State Forest. And I've essentially just ingrained that natural environment into every detail of the watch. So we spent about a month developing the sand cast texture, uh, which is something I haven't seen anywhere else. And um, so each variation is kind of inspired by one of the natural or wild areas of Rothrock State Forest. But I'm really happy with uh, with the prototypes, and I've had really great response here. Today. Yeah, and and like I said, I, I think I told you earlier when we spoke. I really love field watches that really do lean into that field aesthetic. Like that, that is one of the like harshest blasted finishes that I've seen on a field watch case. It looks really cool, really unique design. Like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, what the final product's gonna be when you bring it out here. Absolutely, very cool. So we're here with Guy of Roebuck Watch Company. Now, I, I had seen your stuff online before. Um, one of the most unique watches that I've seen in terms of style, in terms of aesthetic. So tell us a little bit about what you brought to District Time here today. Okay, so this is our first model, which is the Deviso, which is Italian for split. Um, the design came to me I was at the supermarket one day, and mm -hmm. I saw the Texas flag printed on corrugated iron. <laughs> what do you guys call it here? <laughs> I've got corrugated dial. That would be fantastic. Yeah. So that's, that was the start for the watch. And I, I put the line in because I didn't want the whole thing corrugated. I thought that was too much. Yeah, and, and it definitely breaks it up. Like I said, I love the the pinstriping on the dial. It's not yeah. a it's not a finish that you see very often no, on a no. lot of dials nowadays. And just also like the color options too, like very bold color options for this style of watch. And the thing that we talked earlier when I was checking these out, the case that you used on these is is kind of really wild. I haven't seen anything it quite is. like it. It's very different. You know? I love color, I love texture, and I love shape. So the personal watches I have in my collection 
they're different watches. They have those sorts of things, their colour, or there's something different about the case. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's what I brought to my design. I want something that's you know, different. Yeah, very from cool. The norm out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when are, when are these going to be released? Uh, they're due in stock middle to the end of November. Okay, and price? So they're priced at 600 Very cool. Yeah. Excellent. We're almost ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, Jimmy, Collins Watch, we've checked out the Hyperion. We reviewed it here on Watch With Us already. That's right. You guys ro are rolling out a dive watch, the Sonar. Yeah. It looks awesome. It's sticking with the Collins aesthetic, which I really dig. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So, we wanted to come up with a dive watch, mm -hmm. but not completely depart from who we are as a brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, the brand was rooted in audio engineering, because I have a recording studio yep. and a background in music, and so I wanted to kind of... I was scratching my head like I really want a diver but how do you kind of relate that to audio and audio engineering and then I was like at this epiphany of like <laughs> a sonar it's engineering it's audio and everything so there are little elements of that you know like on the case back it's like a little sonar design mm -hmm. and so forth and even like you have the crosshair dial as well which exactly. you don't see all the time exactly. which which is very like I said I think it's a great looking watch um Again, manages to be different than anything else you guys have right now, but again, still has that Collins DNA kind of fusing. A lot of color options available too, which you guys have never really had on your watch before. When is it due to release and how much is it going to cost? Yeah, so uh, basically we are pre-selling, we have a pre-sale right mm -hmm. now for only $550. The intended retail is going to be $795. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have varying levels of pre-sale pricing. So it's about to go up because we actually have watches now that we can take actual photos of. <laughs> so it's just renders on our site right now. We've got the six color options and we're hoping to start shipping by February. Very That's cool. The plan. Very looking, looking very forward to it. Like I said, it's a great looking watch. Thank you. So. Yeah, thanks so much. Cool. So we are here with Gavox watches and we're talking about the new Aurora that you have, which has one of the most unique movement and complication sets that I've ever seen on a watch board. <laughs> this thing is absolutely wild. Thank you. <laughs> it, it is definitely wild because I tried to put in a movement. Mm -hmm. Everything my childhood had as function in a Casio. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have everything a pilot needs mm -hmm. in the watch. And what a pilot needs is the time, the time zones, mm -hmm. uh, he needs to have a chronograph, mission chronograph, countdown, mission countdown, perpetual calendar, and a moon phase. Mm -hmm. So all that in one watch, which has only four hands. And, and this is all done, again, in an analog watch. It's a coarse movement, but again, it's one of the most unique things that I've ever seen, like just getting to play with it and, and <laughs> test the different functions wild. And you guys also, you built a kind of website that also lets you use this yes. functionality as well, yes. right? Yes, I really advise you to try it if you don't have it. It's uh, gavox.com slash clock and you can test it. And what the purpose is, is really to show how it works. Mm -hmm. This watch has been created with a Swiss company mm -hmm. and it's my own design but no one can make it anymore because they decided to break away this chain of production mm -hmm. to only do movement for Alpina, from Frédéric Constant, from Breitling. Mm -hmm. But Gavok said, no, bye-bye. So this is the last of the kind. It's, and like I said, it's very cool. Like one of the things that I love about micro brands, they tend to take a lot of chances in terms of like aesthetics and design. And you're doing it with movement, which you don't often see very. It, no. it, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing piece of tech for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Really wanted something simple to see, but that has all these features. Mm -hmm. And whenever I do a fair, I do say to the guys, let me flabbergast you. <laughs> to see how much things this watch can do. It's, it's, it's awesome. Like I said, really impressive. <laughs> thank you so, so thank much. Thank you. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>